Lena, who are you? I'm a woman. I'm a female entrepreneur. I'm a non-boring facilitator. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm a friend. I'm a sinner. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Why are you here? I think for us to have a good laugh together, I think that's the reason you invited me to today. <laughs> What's an intriguing thing you tell people about our program? That is going to be a real thing. I'm really bored of uh, pretentious theories and stuff that you don't know how to apply. No, it's going to be real cases, real scenarios, real opportunities to practice, real stories, real non-boring exercise that they can just steal and use in their own uh, works. What would you prompt potential learners to ask themselves before joining us? So I would like them to think a scale from one to 10 and position themselves where they are now in terms of engaging facilitation or non-boring facilitation, and then set a mark for themselves for the future. So where would they like to be after the program? What is one thing that distinguishes a great facilitator from a good one? The love for their learners. I want to, when you start any session, any meeting, any workshop, that you really feel the love towards these people that you're going to help with their development, with their learning, with their next steps, with their challenges. So it's the love for their learners. What are three mistakes that any facilitator should avoid? Okay, first mistake, when you have like difficult participants or situations that you have dif find difficulty to handle, don't they take them personally? So usually we think that it's about us, but it's not about you. So it's about the position that you are in, what you represent in, the, in that time in that moment the second thing is that uh, don't think that learning happens from the neck up no neurobiology and psychology and pedagogy have already proven that this is not the case the brain is not that your body is not brain taxi so include the body in the learning process and the third one is uh, don't delude yourself don't think that everybody's there to learn no some people are just there because somebody told them to and some people are there because they want to prove that they knew everything they are good to go and it's all good. What is your favorite thing about facilitating? Oh, that I feel this freedom and all this creativity. There are no constraints in our profession, right? You can be really creative and on the spot and enjoy. Describe how you're feeling about the program in three words. Okay, so I feel so much love, feel excitement, and I can sense the impact that we can make. What's one thing people should know about your facilitation style? That is going to be really non-boring in all kinds of shapes, sizes, facets of learning. <laughs> and finally, who shouldn't join the program? Are oh, the ones that they hear this interview and they're like, oh, come on, go away. <laughs>